Hey, meet cuties. We are so excited to present this story with our friends at Riley and Gray, the number one rated wedding RSVP website by Brides.com and the perfect wedding website destination for all you hopeful romantics. Riley and Gray makes it easy for design-minded couples to build beautiful, uniquely you websites for your big day, where you can give your guests all of the information they need with features like custom URLs, registry building, privacy and security, and seamless RSVP guest management. And for Meet Cute listeners, Riley and Gray is offering 20% off your membership. Just visit RileyGray.com. That's R-I-L-E-Y-G-R-E-Y.com. And enter code MeetCute to plan your perfect happily ever after. Surprise, Bill? Need fast funds? CashNet USA can help. When you need money fast, be the hero. Apply in minutes at CashNetUSA.com and get a fast decision. All loans subject to lender approval. Speed of funding is subject to verifications and your bank's processing times. Starbucks Iced Apple Crisp Oat Milk Shake and Espresso. Made with blonde espresso, creamy oat milk, and spiced apple flavors. It's an icy crisp sip you can enjoy all autumn long. Order ahead on the Starbucks app. Bring the sabor with Modelo Chelada Fresa Picante. A mouth-watering mix of authentic Mexican beer, bold strawberry flavor, and a hint of spice. Modelo Chelada Fresa Picante. Bring the sabor. Drink responsibly. Modelo Chelada flavored beers. Imported by Crown Imports, Chicago, Illinois. There's just something about flirting. Hey. Who is this? The banter. The exchange of spurious details. A miracle super fan calling in that date? Who? All that riffing. James? Mmm. I don't recall a James. This is a bot, isn't it? That was a trick. A generic hey. Now that I've clicked on this text message, you're able to hack my bank, right? The excitement. Flirty texts are void of any of the boring stuff we normally talk about, like crap days, bad bosses, deadlines, groceries, money, politics, shitty roommates, none of that. In this parallel universe, anything and everything can be funny. There are no real facts, no real questions, there are barely even direct answers. What? No, of course not. This is just a New York guy who'd love to take a New York girl out to dinner. But only after you've sent a small wire payment to show your commitment to the relationship. (laughs) Okay, Venmo or Zelle. I prefer physical currency, like goats or Italian leather jackets. It's a game. A game of pretend. A game in which you are play-acting your lightest self. Easy, breezy, witty. A game between two people. How about two leather jackets for your real name? No, two goats. Two goats for your name and occupation. Usually. It's funnier. Perfect. Do you need a social security number as well? Sure thing, James. James G. had matched with Taylor, our fictional Hinge profile. That was the first step. The second? Getting him hooked. I get it. You do a background check on all the people you're about to go on a date with. From experience, we both knew what James liked. A flirty, funny, somewhat distant girl. For your files, James G., doctor, you gave me your number on Hinge. How about, it rings a bell? Mmm, too coy. Yet the game of keeping up her casual stance was proving... How about, Friday sounds great? No. Far more difficult than we'd thought. Why not? He hasn't officially asked her out yet. Ugh, God, I don't know. I don't know what to write. You do it. (laughs) No, you're doing great. You're just saying that because you don't want to do it. Well, yes. Just take it. No. I'm too obvious. I'm too weird. I don't. I won't. What are these? What do they look like? Beers? Ding, ding, ding. But we didn't order. On the house, if you both agree to calm down, okay? It's a text. Just say something sexy and then ignore him for 12 hours. Minimum. You think that'll work? Men love the chase. From what I can recall. I don't really like beer. Trust me, you'll like these. It's time y'all gave beer a chance, Miss Negroni. But I... So we ignore him for 12 hours? Mmm, 13. Cheers. Huh. Uh, read what you wrote? I didn't write anything. Shit. Do we... Playing it cool. I I get get it, it, Taylor. Taylor. Okay, Thursday it is. 
7 p.m. You name the place. Where do you want to go? Talaya. Oh, that's good. Worst date of your life. I'm single in New York and almost 30. They're all bad. But one's got to stand out. Come on, we're celebrating. We successfully completed phase two. What are the phases? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Having successfully secured James's interest in Taylor, Maeve and I had another drink. For some reason, when we were together, we couldn't stop talking. Would we stay friends after this? I was starting to hope so. Ugh, worst date ever. What's yours? Um, oh. Oh, Noah Khan concert. He threw up on my sneakers two songs in. He was wasted at a Noah Khan concert? No, he was sick. (laughs) I get it. I, too, am allergic to sad, tragic music. (gasps) How dare you? Noah is a god. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. Oh, God, I'm a mess. (laughs) No. No, I thought we were friends. Noah Khan? He is the bony bear of our generation. (laughs) Okay, okay, okay. Your turn. Worst date. Besides last week? That is being rectified. Okay. Uh, Two years ago, right after I called off my engagement. To Johnny. (sighs) To Johnny. I went out with an investment baker a friend set me up with. He had lived in Manhattan for five years, and he'd never been to Brooklyn. He told you that? Proudly. I told him I lived in Brooklyn and loved it. He said, and I quote, I never go to Brooklyn because I don't like the people there. Did he hear you? Of course. Oh my God. He was a loser. Better than James though. True, true, but the bar is quite low there. (laughs) (laughs) Do you think he'll come Thursday? I I kinda do. Taylor? We kinda vibe with him. Yeah. Well, what are we going to do if he does show? I don't know. God, all of it. Like, James, the ghosting, the acting, the whole thing. It's like, I feel like I don't even know what's real anymore. That's why I'm so glad we have sworn off men. Just sworn off dating. It's nice to just focus on something else. Agreed. Cheers. Cheers. Now, we weren't two characters from a movie. This was no John Tucker Must Die. And Maeve was fairly sure that she could date someone and I wouldn't mind. But did she want to find out? When had dating in New York ever served her as well as friendships had? Okay, time to call it a night. I am exhausted. Yeah, you head home. I'll close out. Okay, you're the best. (laughs) Night. (laughs) Night. Hey, Mary. As I left, promising Maeve I'd see her Thursday at 7 at Talea for our watch party, Maeve waited for... Whoa, is one of you allowed to be here without the other? No, not without a permission slip. Did you get it signed? Uh, Sorry, dog ate my homework. Ooh, you're breaking the rules. What can I say? I'm living dangerously. Tuesday, 8.25 p.m. at a bar. Don't tell my parents. (laughs) So... So, just the check. Name? Wow. (laughs) I'm kidding. (laughs) Okay, what is it? Maeve. Kinsey. Mm, Good job. Well, I had to check and see if you and Thing 2 were on America's Most Wanted after all this plotting. Not yet. How long have you worked here? Three years ago, I started to bartend on the weekends. Two years ago, I switched to full-time and invested in the brewery. I never looked back. So you're invested in me liking this beer, huh? Hmm. Here. What is it? This one's new for the season. Well? It's delicious. Pumpkin. Basically pumpkin. Basically pumpkin? That's the name? Yep. And it's basically delicious. (laughs) So what do you do? Besides plot and plan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Besides that. I'm a teacher, fourth grade, and a writer, I hope to be. Hey, if you write, you're a writer. What do you write? Here, this one's Prickly Berry Crush. Oh, (laughs) 
It's tart. Sorry, I should have warned you. No, I like it. A little bit of everything, but mostly romance novels. The beginnings of romance novels. Hmm. Yeah. So what's this then? Uh, between you and Callie? The start of a book? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I mean, I guess it could be. We'll see Thursday. Ah, is that when he gets stood up? You do listen. Well, I've got a lot riding on this bet. Just a drink? Yeah. But I happen to like the girl. Here, last one. Wow. That's my favorite. Mm, yeah, mine too. Peachberry punch. Whoa. Okay, beer can be more than beer. That's why I love it. I love that the ordinary can be extraordinary. Yeah. Well, I... I gotta get going. Night, Mary. Okay, good night. Maeve didn't know what was happening between her and Mary, but she just knew that if she didn't leave, not dating would start to feel a little untrue. When I was growing up, my mother told me that often the best part of a date was getting ready for it. Pouring yourself a glass of wine, turning on Blondie full blast, and believing, for the 25 minutes it took to put on your makeup, that maybe tonight would be different. In this case, tonight would be different, but per usual, getting ready for the date with James was gearing up to be the best part. Maeve and I went to order drinks to loosen up. Espresso martini, Negroni. Are we that predictable? Do you really want me to answer that? No. Actually, can I have a beer? A beer? There was a peach one? Peach beer? Can I have one too? It's my favorite. Coming up. We had chosen our seats well. Can you see? I can see. We'd even brought snacks. Popcorn? Franks. What time is it? Seven. On the nose. Maeve and I looked at each other. For the past two days, we'd been rigorous in maintaining Taylor's aloofness, only responding to James enough to keep him interested. He had double-checked that Taylor would be meeting him at Talea tonight. 7 p.m.? Did we say seven? Unless that doesn't work. See you then. I'll be the one in the red sweater you can't take your eyes off of. I can't wait. And yet... He'll show. He's already late. Not... Just by a minute. When did you realize he was standing you up? Uh, I still thought he might be coming until you brought me over my drink. Aww. (laughs) Stop. And that is why we're doing this. Because good people like you, like me, deserve more. Cheers to that. Seriously. Okay. I just have this kind of bad feeling. Why? I don't know. I just... I just do. I just... I feel like... Like this was all for nothing. Like he won't come and I dragged you into this. You didn't drag me into anything. We're in this together. I kind of did. You wasted all this time. It hasn't been wasted. And now I just feel like... Maeve. I just feel like... Maeve. I was like, what? Isn't that... James James G. G. And there he was. James Gallagher. A little taller than his profile suggested, and just as handsome. Standing in the doorway, looking for Taylor. As Maeve and I watched, he scouted two seats just in front of us and sat down. He took out his phone and texted her. Just got here. See you soon. And we realized we did it. 20 minutes later, Taylor still hadn't shown, as we knew she wouldn't. Duh, she wasn't real. James had texted her once more to ask if she was coming. What does it say? Got a table. Everything okay? Okay. Put it away. I don't want him to see you on your phone. Maeve, there is no way he would guess this. True. Now he sat there. It seemed to be dawning on him that Taylor was standing him up. When Mary came by... I'm good for now. Thanks. He didn't order a drink. He kept fidgeting, looking around, checking his phone. Yet, despite that... Despite his obvious discomfort, neither of us felt the sense of triumph we'd thought we would. This is... Yeah. In person, James G. was just a guy. A good-looking guy, sure, but 
still a guy. Had we not known that he'd stood Maeve, me, and dozens of other women up, it would have felt a bit sad. We sipped our drinks, waiting for something, but at 25 minutes past the hour... He's getting up. Don't look. Okay. He's heading for the door. He's leaving? Going. Going. Gone. That's it? That's it. Goodbye, James G. I couldn't believe how anticlimactic it all was. Suddenly, I was furious. Here was a guy who'd screwed over dozens of women who'd probably do this again and again. He'd been conned and he didn't even know it. So I was determined he would. Maybe that would stop him. I'm going after him. What? I'm going to say something. No, Callie! No, this isn't enough. Callie, wait! I should... Leave it. She's gonna do what she's gonna do. I honestly can't tell you what came over me. I can't. But in that moment, I felt the weight of every transgression this man had done to women like me. I felt like a staunch defender, not just of them, but of women everywhere, bruised and upbraided by online impropriety. And James, James was the recipient of that ire. He was the face for it. Hey! Hey, you! James. Hi. It is James, right? James Gallagher. Uh, yeah? You had a date tonight. Sorry, who, who are you? Kelly. Kelly McBride. You stood me up last week. I'm sorry? I'm just wondering, how does it feel when it happens to you? Not great, right? Well, let that be a lesson for you. Never treat women like that again. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sure I'm missing something here. Who exactly are you? I'm Callie. Callie McBride. Yeah, I heard you. I don't know anyone by that name. Wow, you really have that many games going? No, I don't know anyone by that name because I've never stood anyone up, let alone you. <laughs> yeah, right. On Hinge... I don't even use Hinge. Oh, please. Well, I re-downloaded it last week, but other than that, yeah, you clearly got the wrong person. You're saying this isn't you? James G. Doctor? What? Columbia Med, Notre Dame. Let me see that. Hey! That's my profile. Exactly. Callie! No, that's my profile, but it's not me. What? This is me, one match, with one girl. Taylor H. 29, UNC. What? Oh, shit. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! What did we do? What did we do? What the hell did you do? Oh, I've got too many bills. If you need funds, you can apply in minutes at cashnetusa.com and have the money in your account as soon as the same business day. Okay, got it. Applying now. They've been helping hardworking people cover emergency expenses since 2004. Hey, look, I got it. You've got this. When you need money fast, be the hero. All loans subject to lender approval. Speed of funding is subject to verifications and your bank's processing times. See cashnetusa.com for more details. If you want to make an entrance, bring the sabor with Modelo Chelada Fresa Picante, a mouth-watering mix of authentic Mexican beer, bold strawberry flavor, and a hint of spice, with great taste bursting out of every can. So bring something sweet to your next barbecue, or bring a little spice to Sunday's brunch. Bring refreshing strawberry flavor to any fiesta with Modelo Chelada Fresa Picante. Bring the sabor. Drink responsibly. Modelo Chelada flavored beers, imported by Crown Imports, Chicago, Illinois. If your day sounds like... We need the report ASAP. You deserve Medella. If you've persevered through... You deserve this rich golden lager with a crisp but refreshing taste. Or if you overcame... Two more reps, two more. You deserve this ice-cold reward. Medella, the mark of a fighter. Drink responsibly. Beer imported by Crown Port, Chicago, Illinois. This is your before and after story. Southeastern College can help you prepare for a secure and fulfilling career in the growing healthcare field. We offer a wide range of careers to choose from. So whether you want to be a medical assistant, medical billing and coding specialist, nurse, surgical technologist, or another healthcare career, we've got you covered. Become a vital part of a healthcare team and make a real difference. 
Southeastern College. Your future is bright. Visit sec.edu to get started.